Hey, I'm Megan, and if you're decorating on a budget, well, this video is definitely for you, my friend. I made over this entire little space right here for about $60. DIYs, free items, upcycling what I have, thrift stores, Dollar Tree, everything budget to make this area possible on a very small budget. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me show you how I did this. I got this dresser off of Facebook Market. There's a bunch of dressers for free, in my area at least. Type in free dresser in Facebook, scroll down, find one you like and pick it up. Now this one was totally jacked up. You couldn't really tell in the photos, but hey, it was free, I can't complain. I sanded it down originally thinking I was going to keep it as a wood finish. But once I sanded it down and then wiped it really clean, I saw that, um, that was like above my skill level. So I removed the handles and then taped off the little keyhole because I decided the easiest thing for me to do is to paint this with chalk paint using white linen. Now I still wasn't for sure what I was gonna do with it, but what I love about chalk paint is it's great as a paint and it also works really well as a primer. You technically do not have to sand if you're using chalk paint, but I do recommend doing it. It really helps the paint adhere to whatever you're painting. Then I picked up these handles from Walmart in the clearest section. I really liked the way they looked. I wasn't too keen on the color. I really liked the color of the handles before, and since they were already gold, I wanted to use what I had. Using this black spray paint, I spray painted the handles, but I didn't give them full coverage. Like I just barely dusted them. I hope that makes sense. If not, you can see what I'm doing. To seal them, I used this clear gloss spray paint. I already had this on hand, but if you bought it new, it's less than $4. And here's what it looks like. Not too shabby in my opinion. Now, like I said, I didn't quite know where I was going with this dresser. So I did sand it down to distress it, focusing on the corners. And when I was done, I did like the way it looked, but it was a little bit too white for where I'm putting it. And one more thing, what I love about chalk paint, see how well it covered up the big gaps. It's such a thick paint, it works really well as a primer. So I use this black acrylic paint, mixed with chalk paint and water, and that's how I painted the top of my dresser. Two coats, nothing special. I don't want you to feel like you're watching paint dry while watching this video. So just know I did two coats. Then I got these samples for free. A neighbor was painting their house. They gave me the leftover paint samples and you can probably find stuff like this on Facebook Market. Anyways, put a bunch of them together until I mixed them up and got the color that I liked. Painted all over my dresser twice. Once again, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. I don't want you to feel like you're watching paint dry while watching this video. And here's what it looks like. Now, for some reason, in the garage, it looked more green, but in real life, it does look truer to this color, like a blue gray. Not perfect, but way better than what it was. Next, I'm using this picture. I picked it up like eight years ago. I had it in my bathroom. It's one of the fake like MDF, I don't know, uh, fake wood boards maybe. I even tried selling this at a yard sale for like $2, no buyers. So I would say this is trash. I'm considering this to be free. Mine had a little tree on it, ripped it off, flipped it over, and I gave it one coat with the same chalk paint I've been using this video. I didn't try to get full coverage, and as you can see, it has a streaky look, and that's okay, because that's what I was going for. Then, these are old busted blinds. I was about to throw away, but I was like, I think I could DIY something with this, and I'm glad I did. So these are free. You can also pick these up on Facebook Market. I saw some today. And it, you see neighbors throwing these away all the time. Cut this down to the size you want it. Easily cut with scissors. It's like a plastic vinyl material. And then I push them back into my picture frame, which is gonna be my tray now. The last one did not fit all the way. So I just took a pencil, marked off where I needed to cut, box cutter, scored it down, and then I just popped it right back into my tray. After that's done, just take some duct tape, take down the blinds to keep them in place, pull them out, and I'm gonna be using some 
brown acrylic paint melted chocolate to paint one thin coat all over them and I'm not going for full coverage because I want this to have like a wood look. After that's dry, hop it back into the tray and then because this is like a plasticky type material, the paint would scrape off. So I'm using Mod Podge, paint it all over it to seal the paint in so I can put stuff on there without the paint scraping off. Using hot glue, I just attached some Dollar Tree rope I had left over. And here's what it looks like when it's done. Pretty cute. I'm decorating this with two Dollar Tree books that are a dollar, a Dollar Tree pail, and four of these Walmart eucalyptus. They're 50 cents right now. I have it linked below. The basket is from Dollar General, $3, a thrifted vase, tea stain music sheets, and three more Dollar Tree books. I have a video on the tea stain music sheets. I'll link that at the end of the video. So far, our total is at $20, including the dresser and everything you see styled here. I'm gonna add the paint in at the end, but just to let you know, the Rust-Oleum chalk paint is only $17 and the acrylic paint is less than a dollar each. Next, I'm using this canvas. I actually originally got it for free because the business was going out of business. But about eight years ago, we painted it for my daughter's room with My Little Pony, she was into that ripped off the canvas part using these two brown acrylic paints mixed with water it makes it look like a stain i'm painting heavily all over the canvas let it dry and when it's done it just looks like stained wood easier and cheaper for me than staining wood because i don't stain a lot of wood so yeah it is what it is then using the blinds again and duct taping them on the back once again the same length as the canvas Use some caulk to fill in the gaps and then like a scraper to scrape it clean. You can get the caulk at like Dollar Tree, Dollar General. It's about a dollar at many places. Once that's done, hot glue the blinds to the framed wood. And just to let you know, the little lines won't be totally covered. So I did decide to go back with the same paint color and just kind of dry brush to mix all this in and to hang it because it's so lightweight i'm using coke taps and hot glue it works for me you know user mileage may vary but i swear it works for me this stool was free a neighbor was going to throw it away snatched it up took off the cover painted it and then this basket is from hobby lobby it was on sale for seven dollars and here's what we have so far really loving the way this looks and to make the wreath super easy one wreath form from dollar tree and then seven of the boxwood greenery from Walmart, 97 cents. Push it into the wreath. I only hot glued when necessary, and I really love the way this looks so far. And originally, I was going to stop here and leave this as is, but standing back and looking at it, I was like, okay, I need something more. These two wood planks are from a DIY I did a few months ago, so I'm considering this free. Painted them white using the leftover vinyl blinds the i have two of these lanterns they were from dollar general i got them on sale for five dollars each dollar tree rope and i hung them on my now diy farmhouse shutters and here is what we have so far here's the finished product so let me break the cost down for you the table and everything on the tray cost twenty dollars the two lanterns were $10 together, so now we're at $30. The wreath was $8, now we're at $38. And the little basket was $7. So now we're at $45. All the paint together was $20 brand new, but I didn't use all the paint. I still have a bunch left over, so I'm not going to count that as a full $20. Let's say... 10, so $55 ish. I also want to say the chair on the right I got for free about eight years ago, spray painted it black. The stool, like I mentioned before, was also free. A neighbor was throwing it away. It had like some ugly old fabric on it, ripped it off and just painted it. That was a long time ago. And the pillow I already had. So I really hope this video encourages you or inspires you to decorate on a budget. Like I promised, here are some videos I mentioned where I show how to do the DIY music sheets and how to galvanize the Dollar Tree tin like I showed here. 
thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time.